Hey guys, it's story time again, and it's time for another story from the Marvel Spider-Man collection. Today will be Spider-Man, Attack Off Broadway, guest starring Rocket and Groot. That's Rocket Raccoon, by the way. Let's see what happens with these superheroes. After fighting giant space piranhas all weekend, Rocket and Groot needed a vacation. But before they could think about tanning on, on Saturn, a familiar face came on their telemonitor. Furball, Iron Man here. Need help? That should, should, oh, sorry, start over. Furball, Iron Man here. Need help? A Chitori space pirate is causing mischief in New York. The Avengers and I aren't around, but you two are. Groot smiled. I am Groot. He means we'd love to help, Rocket said. I haven't had a New York hot dog in ages. Rocket set the coordinates for Earth, and they blasted off. I wonder if the Hulk would mind if I crashed in his room for a few days, Rocket said as they flew past the Avengers Tower. I am Groot, said Groot, shaking his head. Yeah, I guess you're right, Rocket replied. They landed in Times Square... Times Square and parked the ship. Rocket grinned. It's Disney World. Oh, really? Only really dirty. And here we are. With Rocket and Groot getting a message from Iron Man. And over here, they're landing their ship in Central Park. Or, I'm sorry, Times Square. Rocket climbed uh, Groot's branches and leaned out in, in excitement. Times Square, the center of the universe, the city that never sleeps, the Big Apple. Groot frowned. I am Groot. Don't worry, I won't eat it, replied Rocket. Now, if I was a Chitori space pirate, where would I be? Wow, look at those costumes, came a voice from above. They turned and saw a friendly neighborhood superhero suddenly swinging down to meet them. And here we are with Spider-Man coming to meet Groot and Rocket. I wonder if he's ever... I don't think he's ever met them before. I am Groot. Groot said, recognizing their old friend. Oh, I guess I have met him again. Before, I mean. And I'm Spider-Man. Rocket sighed. That's what Groot just said. It sounded like... I am Groot. He did, but uh, never mind. Listen, we need help finding a Chitori space pirate. We think he wants to sneak into the Avengers Tower and steal top secret information. Spidey nodded. Okay, time out. Where did you kids get these costumes? He tugged at Rocket, Rocket's whiskers. They seem so real. Like the real Rocket Raccoon. Real. I am not a raccoon, and I am real. Whoa! Spidey cried. Rocket! Groot! Long time no see! But before the friends could catch up and... the uh, But before... Sorry. But before the friends could catch up, screams rang out from 46th Street. The Ch Chitauri... That's a really hard word to say. Chitauri villain was about to destroy a street performing Iron Man. He thinks that's a real Iron Man, Spider-Man said. But let's take care of this guy before the 87-year-old Thor over there is next, shall we? They must be talking about Stan Lee. Here we are, Groot, Rocket Raccoon, and Spider-Man talking. Spider-Man realizing that he's the real one. And here is the Chitari space pirate about to attack an innocent person just wearing a costume. The three heroes jumped into action. Spidey swung toward the Chitari and blasted him with web webbing. Groot charged forward with battle ready fist and Rocket, well Rocket ate a New York uh, City hot dog. His mission was complete or so he thought. He's heading down Broadway, Rocket cried. Let's cut him off, Spidey replied. 
Follow me. The three raced down an alley and through a door. Suddenly, they were on stage in Broadway, in a Broadway play. The Chitari fired his plasma cannon at Groot and Spidey. They ran off stage. Rocket Pat paused to bow to the crowd and received a standing ovation. Here we are. Groot and Spider-Man chasing after the Chitari, and you got little Rocket back here eating a hot dog at a hot dog stand. He thought it was done at the time. And there we are with Spider-Man and Groot dodging the blast while the Shatari shooting at them. And there's Rocket Raccoon bowing to the crowd, making everybody stand up, thinking this was... Oh, I'm sorry, I covered a picture. Thinking that was just part of the show. The superheroes chased the Shatari into the subway. They jumped in the train as dozens of people scattered and ducked for cover. Groot politely nudged the passengers to one side to protect him as Rocket aimed his laser cannon at the Ch Ch Chitari. No drinking, no eating, no radioactive weapons on the train, dude, Spidey said. Oh, fine, Rocket replied as the train stopped and the Chitari jumped out. But he's getting away. The Chitari raced up the steps to the surface, and everyone scrambled in panic as he blasted his plasma cannon. By the time Spidey and the Guardians got to the street level, it was a sea it was a sea of running people. They had lost the Chitari. But then something caught Groot's eye. I am Groot, he said, pointing to a giant storefront window. On display was a beach scene with all the trimmings, a mannequin lifeguard, beach balls, towels, mannequin kids playing, mannequins, mannequin parents watching, and a chitari in sunglasses. Spidey shrugged. I'd say that's weird, but we're in New York City. There they are, on the subway train. Groot trying to protect the people while Rocket wants to blast the chitari and Spider-Man stopping him from blasting a hole in the train. And here we are with a silly space pirate trying to pretend to be a mannequin on Earth. Guess he doesn't realize he looks completely different from us. Enough, Spidey yelled, and we've been through Times Square, a Broadway play, the subway, a window display, and a hot dog stand. Don't forget that, said Rocket. Let's end this now, Spidey said. I wrap him up. Groot knocks him out. Rocket takes him down. Ready? I am Groot. I totally agree, Spidey replied. Spidey helped load the Chitari onto the spaceship and ro as ro Rocket tipped the valet. Guys, we need some pics. I am Groot. Yes, we need pics of the Statue of Liberty, Central Park, and the Bronx Zoo. That's not what he said, Rocket said. I know, but I'm getting close. Nowhere near, Rocket said. And here they are, putting Spider-Man's plan into action. See, he wrapped him up in webs. Groot knocks him out with his big fist. And Rocket is doing something. I forgot to look. Oh, he's tripping him. So make sure he falls. And over here, we've got Rocket tipping the valet. For some silly reason. Groot carrying the space pirate and Spider Man thinking he's figuring out Groot's language, but apparently nowhere close. Well, and I guess they went ahead and took those pictures anyway. Looks like they had fun. They went to the Statue of Liberty, the Bronx Zoo, and Times Square, I think is what they said. Yeah, something like that. I don't know. Maybe it was Central Park. That was a good story. I hope you enjoyed it. Be good, always be kind, and I'll see you next time.